Hey guys, just a little update here. <clears throat> uh, make short story long, I found out about a month and a half ago that I have uh, prostate cancer. Um, no symptoms, basically, whatsoever. I feel great, uh, all that jazz. Um, showed up as a uh, slightly elevated uh, PSA on a normal blood test, just blood work on a routine exam about a year or so ago. And uh, I uh, told doctor, I said, well, I thought we ought to just uh, kind of take a hide and hide and see approach, kind of keep an eye on it, you know, and see if it went up or down or, or whatever. And she, she kind of agreed that, yeah, that would probably be fine. Anyway, we uh, monitored it for the past year or so. And uh, it had gone down a little bit, but it was still elevated. So eventually she uh, sent me to a urologist and uh, urologist did a prostate exam. And uh, she thought that I should probably have a MRI. Um, and since I had used up most of my uh, out-of-pocket copay, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the year for my health insurance, I thought, well, I might as well do it now, um, while I can, while the insurance will pay quite a bit more of it, you know, than they would otherwise. Anyway, uh, got an MRI done, and it showed a couple of lesions on my, uh, on my prostate, or in my prostate, um, and, uh, so then the, uh, the urologist, uh, ordered, a um, biopsy. And that was performed about a month and a half or so ago. Um, and it came back showing that, <clears throat> yes, I do have uh, prostate cancer. Uh, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with the grading or classification of uh, prostate cancer. But anyway, there's a thing called the Gleason score. Um, it's numbers one through five. Uh, perfectly normal. Uh, cells are uh, classified as a one and uh, the ones they call poorly differentiated is their medical term for it. The really weird looking cells they are uh, classified as a uh, number five um, and they they use two of those scores when examining a slide generally not all of the cells in that slide will exact look exactly the same um, there's usually a couple of different grades of the cells, and so the more predominant grade is the first number, and then uh, the lesser cells would be, uh, less common ones in the slide would be the second number. Those two numbers are added together to get your Gleason score, like you might have a, a 3 plus 4 for a 7 and uh, whatnot. So I guess a, a 2 would be perfectly, absolutely normal cells. You'd have a 1 and a 1. And uh, uh, 10 would be the absolute worst. That would be the two pair of fives. The fives, they're the, the real weird cells. They, I think they have pink hair and uh, tattoos all over them and, you know, a rap sheet four pages long. They're not who you want moving into your community and um, bring property values down and stuff. Anyway, make short story long again. I, uh, I was uh, Gleason grade nine um, had some of those real ne'er-do-well cells in there, and, uh, anyway, um, scheduled, uh, well, I had my choice of treatment, basically, uh, could go two ways, could go radiation therapy, or, uh, radical prostatectomy, um, there's other ways of treating the cancer, but those are the basically the two main ones. So I elected for radical prostatectomy and that was performed uh, robotically this last Friday, would have been what, five days ago, I guess. Um, Friday, January 26th of 2024. Today's the 31st. Um, anyway, uh, surgery went well. Uh, it took a little over four hours, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I slept through it. <laughs> But anyway, uh, no complications, uh, I don't think. Um, I came out of it fine, and uh, I'm sore to an extent, you know, but not not anything extreme. I 
dropped all the pain meds the uh, day after the surgery, and I don't like taking main pain meds um, if I can do without them. And uh, anyway, that's that's my story right now. Um, still have a catheter in, which is not a bit of fun. Hope to get that out in a few days. And uh, I got the pathology report uh, yesterday evening. Um, if I'm reading it right, uh, with my extensive lack of medical knowledge, um, it looks like the uh, lymph nodes that they took out along with the prostate uh, did not show any spread into the lymph nodes. Um, like, say, if I'm reading it right. But there was uh, still cancer at the margins of the prostate. Um, so that's a little concerning to me. I'll have to uh, speak with old Sawbones and see what she has to say about that. Um, and I believe we just kind of monitor it now for a while. We'll have a PSA test in a few months, and that should read zero or undetectable. And uh, if it at some point starts to rise, that means some of those uh, ne'er-do-well cancer cells migrated off uh, to hide out somewhere else till the heat blows over, you know. Um, and they can become active at some point in the future. And then uh, if that's the case, then I have to try to figure out where they are in my body and uh, how to treat them at that point. But uh, hopefully that won't happen. Or it'll be a long time in the future if it does. And uh, anyway, that that's my story for now. I'm not going to make this YouTube channel about me or my cancer. But I thought my subscribers like might like to know uh, what's going on here and uh, I may do an update once in a while if something changes but uh, like I said this is not going to become a channel about James's prostate cancer. Um, I want to keep this channel lighthearted, you know. Um, anyway that's where we stand and uh, y'all have a good one. We'll talk again.